Good evening guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope everybody has had a wonderful week and I hope that you have an amazing weekend coming up ahead. Today I have a very impromptu, kind of a small mini body mist haul, which I don't normally do, but I'm actually really excited. So I think it's gonna be a little bit of a long video, but like a relaxing one, super chill. I'm just drinking coffee, sniffing perfume. So if you feel like doing the same thing and joining me, I would love that. And if you're new to my channel, thank you so much for stopping by. My name is Alithia, and on this channel we talk a lot about perfume. We also do a little bit of home decor, minimalism, that kind of thing. So if you are into all of those things, then I would love if you would subscribe. Also feel free to head over and follow me on Instagram at The Simple Chic Life. And with Without further ado, let's get into today's body mist haul. All right, guys, so welcome back. Welcome to my bedroom. I'm just having a cup of coffee here, and this is my dresser situation. So I've got some stuff there, some fun little things there that I'm gonna share with you. This is kind of like an impromptu um, mini haul video. I was gonna smell those things myself, but then I thought, you know, it'll be way more fun to do a first impression with you guys. They're not really like I've smelled them all before, um, but not for quite a while. And so it'll be kind of like a new to me, new to you kind of fun thing. And then I am burning a candle. I'm burning the marshmallow fireside from Bath and Body Works, which is ridiculous because A, it is way too hot today to be burning candles in general. And B, it's a winter candle, but I do not have any other candles. I really need to go to Bath and Body Works and find some like summer, spring, summer candles or go somewhere else and find some candles. It doesn't have to be Bath and Body Works. And yeah, just working on my, I think my second cup of coffee for the day. This here is a little project that I'm working on on the right. And I will share that with you guys in a while, but not in today's video. So that's why all those perfumes are sitting over to the side. Yeah, so why don't we get into this little haul different setup today where, like I said, we're in my bedroom. Um, if anybody wants an updated bedroom tour, let me know. Nothing too crazy has changed, but I just love my bedroom, you guys. I'm always working on making it feel a little bit more like zen and a little bit more peaceful and comfortable and yeah. Yeah, we're just gonna do this here and I'm basically going to spray these body sprays in the cap. Um, and I also wanted to share with you because one of the body sprays is from Sephora. This I also got from Sephora. I'm sure that many of you will recognize it. It is from Clinique and it is the Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm because I have been using the Palmer's Cocoa Butter um, face oil as my first step of my cleanse and I really just wanted to try this because when I made that video, which by the way, if you guys didn't see that video, it's like my whole skincare routine. It's what I use, my Holy Grail products, the products that have changed my skin for the better. Um, anyways, that video is on my channel. I think it was like the last video I uploaded or second last. So definitely check that out. But I was almost out of my Palmer's cocoa butter oil face wash, whatever it was. And so many people commented and said that I needed to try the Clinique Take the Day Off. And this gets really good reviews. So I thought, you know what, we're gonna try it. Um, I needed to get another first step anyways. And this also is fragrance free where the Palmer's has rose fragrance in it. So yeah, I'm kind of excited to try this. So I just took the cap off or the lid off, I guess. And that's what it looks like. And it literally has Oops, I just stuck it on my nose. It literally has no smell at all. So I'm really, really excited to use this. Apparently you don't need very much, so hopefully this lasts for quite a while because it was a little bit expensive, but if it's good for my skin, I'm happy with that because I think that your skin is something that you can never invest too much money in. I'm very, very happy to invest money to help me stay looking young forever. <laughs> so yeah, that's the Clinique Take the Day Off. All right, I'm just gonna have another sip of coffee here. Your girl cannot have enough coffee today, you guys. I'm extremely drowsy today. I'm dealing with a bit of a medical thing that has been lingering for a couple days. And um, yeah, I just need like all the caffeine. Okay, so what did I get? What else did I get from Sephora? So got the Clinique Take the Day Off. And then I also got, oops, I got one of these from their new limited edition um, body spray line. So they had this one, they had the blue one, I can't remember the name of it, and then they also had the purple one, which I think was called Tropical Nights. And the blue one was very much like, I smelled all of these in store, but this was the one I liked and this was the one they were sold out of. So the blue one was very much like kind of Dolce & Gabbana light blue sort of vibes. It was a little bit more citrusy, a little bit more fresh, not really my cup of tea. As you guys know, I'm not a huge, huge, 
like straight up citrus lover. Um, but if you like Dolce & Gabbana light blue or those fresher ones, I would check that one out if you can get it. And the purple one, the tropical nights one was a like vanilla and I can't remember what else was in there, but it was like a real, it wasn't even very tropical smelling. It was more like, like sexy vanilla nighttime kind of perfume. It didn't smell very tropical to me. And this one is the tan line. So it's solar tuberose and Le de coco. So coconut milk. I don't know if I said that right. Um, and so I'm not a tuberose person. As you guys know, if you watch my channel, I do not like tuberose all that much, but I loved the way this smelled in the store. So we will give this one a spray. I'll just do them all like in concession because I feel like doing them all in concession. I don't want to do them one at a time. Um, the other two items I got were from Victoria's Secret and you guys know that I'm not a huge body mist fan. I literally have one body mist in my collection, which is the Shirosa 62. Um, and I love that one. But I'm just not a huge body mist kind of girl, but I saw that Victoria's Secret was having a sale on their body mist, and I remembered having really liked two of them when I was in stores. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to order small bottles. They were like literally like $7 each, you guys. So I thought, you can't go wrong. Um, and if nothing else, they'll be good for the gym. They'll be good to just throw in my gym bag, you know, so I smell nice coming out of the, out of the changer. So the first one I got was Heavenly. And this one, so many people really like this one. Um, when I did a Victoria's Secret video a long time ago, a lot of people said I should check out Heavenly. And I didn't realize it was so small. Like, look how small that container is, you guys. Like, this is not gonna last very long, but I don't think this is one of the ones they're gonna discontinue, so I'm okay with that. Um, but yeah, this was so cheap. It was like $5 or something. Very small price to pay to see if I like it. And then the other one was Victoria's Secret bombshell sun drenched fine fragrance mist so this i believe was a limited edition the bombshell sun drenched and i'm kind of mad at myself because when i was in the store i smelled this and i really liked it but i wasn't really in the market for getting like buying a, a victoria's secret perfume that day i was just like in a hurry had a lot of things to do and i kind of just passed it up and i didn't realize it was like limited edition um and I really did like it, but I kind of like, I'm a little bit jaded when it comes to Victoria's Secret because I've had, I don't think I've ever kept a Victoria's Secret perfume up to this date. All of them I've ever gotten, I've always decluttered at some point. So I guess I just like felt that I would be let down with it. But when I saw that this was limited edition and I saw it was on sale, I did want to grab a bottle and this is a big bottle. So I'm really happy about that. And I don't quite remember what it smells like. I think from what I can remember, and I will put the notes on the screen, I'm not even, sorry, I have an itch on my nose. I'm not even gonna bother looking up the notes before I spray them, you guys, because I want this to be like a true first impression, unbiased, unjaded. I find that sometimes when you look up notes with a perfume before you spray them, it can kind of alter your perception of the perfume, and I don't want to go into it expecting anything because I truly don't remember quite what this smells like. All I know is that I liked it, and it was very like beachy and summery, and I think it was kind of like, I want to say maybe coconut, sand, like maybe papaya or something like that, or like guava, like it was that kind of thing. So yeah, I'm kind of excited to smell that one. I'm kind of excited to smell them all actually you guys so hopefully i like it and if nothing else it can stay in my gym bag when you're at the gym you don't want something too overpowering you just want something light but i don't know about you but i like smelling sweet and girly and pretty at the gym um yeah so don't they look pretty by the way with the flowers sitting on the little tray people are going to ask me the little tray was from amazon this is actually real marble, I think, or it's some type of like, it feels like real marble, but it was like $39, $40. And I just really like it. It kind of just lives on my dresser. And then the flowers were from HomeSense, but they actually have a huge crack in the back um, right there. Huge crack. I don't know how that happened. I think I did that, but anyway, I just think that they look so pretty. I love flowers. I love white flowers and I love perfume and candles and coffee. So why don't we spray... Let's do the Victoria's Secret ones first, I think, because I can't quite remember what they smell like. Like the tan lines one is more familiar in my mind. The other two are not as familiar and I have higher expectations for the Sephora one than I do the Victoria's Secret. So let's do the ones that I'm anticipating not liking as much first so that I'm not like let down later. So let's spray, let's spray Heavenly. I am actually really excited for this one because all I know is that it's like a musky vanilla and I have not smelt it in a really long time. So I'm gonna put the camera down and spray this in the cap. I don't have papers with me so I'm just doing the cap thing. 
Let me know if you guys do that. It's pretty. It's very pretty. I might have to get papers. Okay, you know what? It's smelling really good, but I feel like it's very alcoholy in the cap, so I'm actually gonna go get papers. Hold on. Okay, so I just sprayed it on a paper. That's better. Okay, so my very first thought is that this is more mature than I thought it was gonna be. This is, yeah, I, I'm not, I don't know exactly what I'm smelling. I wanna say like maybe some sandalwood or something, like there's some sort of a, there's a nice depth to it and probably maybe some musk. And it is vanilla-y. So I was thinking this was gonna be more vanilla extract-y. Definitely different than what I remember it smelling like. But it is very nice. It'll be interesting to put this on skin and actually wear it and see how I feel about it. Okay, so it's kind of a, it's kind of a mature, pretty, kind of sophisticated vanilla is how I would describe it. A mature, pretty, sophisticated vanilla. Doesn't smell cheap to me. It's very nice. Um, yeah, so my first initial impression, like I said, I did smell it before but couldn't remember what it smelled like. I would give this one like off the top of my head like a, like a six or seven out of 10. It's like a six and a half for me in terms of like 10 is I'm absolutely head over heels in love, zero is I hate it, five is I'm indifferent. This is better than indifferent, it's good. Hmm. There's something kind of creamy in there, maybe a little bit sweet even. Okay, so that's the Heavenly. I like it, we'll put that to the side. And yeah, it almost smells like skincare, like vanilla skincare, you know? It's nice. Okay, so good. I'm glad we started out with that one because it's, if I'm honest, it's a little bit underwhelming. Not bad, it's good though, but yeah. Okay, I'm excited. Now let's do Sun Drenched. I'm getting it all over my dresser just for you guys. <laughs> Ooh, fruity, summery. Can smell it already, it's nice. Okay, very, um, reminding me of like Mr. Freezy. <laughs> Mmm. Okay, so the first spray is very fruity and it's like a orange, it's like a melon type of a fruit almost. Like I almost want to say, or like guava, papaya, like something like that. Forgive me, I don't really know like off the top of my head what guava or papaya smells like, but, or like passion fruit, like it's that kind of thing. It's nice. And as it's starting to settle down a little bit, the fruitiness is dissipating. It's not quite as strong. And I'm definitely getting more of like a, sand like a beachy sandy kind of feel like I picture myself on a beach you know very summery very good for the summertime yeah so it's definitely major like mostly fruity if I had to classify it as a type of fragrance it's definitely first fruity and like orange fruits orange yellow fruit think like think like the color papaya like it perfectly matches the bottle you guys I have an activewear set coming I'm so excited it's the color it's the color papaya and like this smells like that set is gonna look I'll find a picture and put it on the screen for you guys but I'm super excited and it's very shampooy too so it's like yellow and orange fruit shampooy and then it has like this sun-kissed, I'm walking on the beach kind of quality. I don't know for sure if there's coconut or sandalwood or vanilla or musk or what is exactly in there. I feel like there's like actually a note of sand. I feel like there's sand in here. It's kind of like, it's kind of like a beachy Mr. Freezy, you know, like the, the, the orange Mr. Freezies. That's what this smells like to me. So I like it. Um, it's very like happy, uplifting, like bubbly, um, really good for the summertime. I think this would also be great for the gym because it is fresh and shampooy. If you like something like um, Versace Dylan Blue Turquoise or even the original Dylan Blue or Valentino Donna Born in Roma Coral Fantasy, that type of thing, it's definitely along those lines. Um, and there's nothing sharp in it. There's no sharp citruses. There's no, there's no like, not that I'm getting anyway, I'm not getting like bergamot, lemon, lime, nothing like that. It's definitely more of that like super fruity, like I'm at the beach kind of thing. And the last one, which is the one that I have the highest hopes for and I'm, like I really liked this in the store, um, is the tan lines. I'm so excited, you guys, because Shirosa, Sol de Janeiro does not make a bad scent. They're all good. Like all of them are good. 
it's just about what your taste is and I happen to like a lot of them the only reason I don't have a lot of them you guys is because I'm trying to keep my collection down um, I like the Coco Cabana especially layered with the Shirosa 62 I like the um, I don't remember the name of it the pink one that they came out with that smells like Baccarat Rouge I really like that one except I have Baccarat Rouge and I have Cloud so there's not much point in me having that one I really like the 71 but it was a little too strong for me like too heavy um but you know they're all good uh, i just don't like the blue one of these because it's too fresh for me it's too citrusy um but yeah so i'm really excited because again i don't think that sol de janeiro makes a bad smelling fragrance and i'm just super excited to spray this one and i'm excited to wear all of them and see how they all wear too so let's go ahead and give this one a spray on the paper I'm also loving the vibrant pink, you guys. I'm obsessed with this. I love this color so much. I love this whole like color palette. Ooh, that's a lot. All over my dresser again. Oh yeah, smells like smells like sunscreen. Sun tanning lotion. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay, so I know that they say tuberose and coconut milk. I get way more coconut than I do. I would not have guessed there was tuberose in here, which is good for me. This straight up smells like tanning lotion, like not like any one specific one. It doesn't smell like Hawaiian tropics or something, but definitely along those lines. This is, this is me sitting on a beach somewhere warm, slathered in sunscreen with a wide, like one of those big floppy hats sipping on a some sort of fancy drink and yeah beautiful beachy day i'm looking amazing in my bikini <laughs> i'm on vacation that's what this is like this would be such a great vacation scent to take south with you it's just like somewhere tropical though so i really like it basically it smells like sunscreen um yeah in comparison to coco cabana coco cabana is definitely more of that like it's like more of like a nutty like dense sweet coconutty milky kind of thing this is a lot more true like actual sunscreen you know um it's lighter it's more beachy it's not so heavy it's not gourmand where the coco cabana feels like a little bit more gourmand maybe this is a lot lighter this is nice this is pleasant it's soft it's good i like it oh i didn't rate the other one so the bombshell sun drenched i would say for me is again probably a six and a half out of ten i'm not like crazy crazy about it but i'm not indifferent i like it more than i don't like it heavenly same thing this one mm, i'd give this one like a solid seven yeah solid seven compared to shirosa 62 doesn't hold a candle for me like i mean it's good but shirosa 62 for me is like a 10 out of 10 this is like a 7 out of 10 for me personally but some people maybe don't like this i don't know who doesn't like it but some people maybe don't like it this one is um just truly like takes me to a beach very nice like this makes me want to take all my clothes off. <laughs> not, not in that way it makes me want to like makes me want to get into a bikini or like you're away with your lover you're on vacation you wake up you're in a bed that's got beautiful white linens and you know you can smell the ocean air and the sun is just rising and you can hear the waves and you're you know not wearing very much that's what this is it's just that kind of like soft light barely there i'm not really wearing perfume but i smell like i'm at the beach that's kind of what that is i really like it all right so let me just take the caps off again because i want to give a fresh one more smell of them so i can tell you guys like my thoughts lastly before we turn the camera off okay so the heavenly the heavenly like i said is just such a pretty mature vanilla yeah i do like it it's definitely the most it's like the least playful it's the most serious out of all of them still very feminine but like not very playful the sun drenched super fruity and fun and shampooy it's a little bit too, it's almost a little too like like um like playful for me almost but it's good for summer it smells young and it, it does smell kind of like a body splash it smells like a victoria's secret slash bath and body works type of body splash but there is some sort of beachy sandiness in there maybe a little bit of creamy coconut something like that so it does have a little bit of depth to it once that fruitiness dries down i like it better i don't like i'm not a straight up fruity person so once the opening dries down it's very nice and this will be interesting to see how it actually wears on the skin and i will come back and update you guys i like it i like it a lot it's got that i remember why i wanted to buy it when i was in store it has that beachy feel 
<sighs> it just reminds me of sands, like reminds me of being at the beach and like sandy beaches. And I really like it. And then the tan lines. Oh yes, it's so good. Oh, it's so nice. Yeah, you can't go wrong with, with Sol de Janeiro, can you? It's really good. It's so good. It's like a, it's like a deliciously like fairy tale like suntan lotion. It's it's a it's so good. I really 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 like that one, you guys. I'm glad I got it. So I don't know if they'll bring that one back. I know that this one and the blue one and the purple one are actually limited edition and I don't know if they will come back. I just saw it on Sephora and I didn't even blink. I just added to cart and like purchased it because it was so cheap. It was like $16 or $20 or whatever it was and I thought you really just cannot go wrong and like I said these were only $5 or $7 something like that each. So yeah I think you can't go wrong. Yeah. The papers are not actually doing them justice. They kind of smelled stronger in the cap and I'm sure they're going to smell even better on the skin. So I'm really excited to wear them. And you know what the amazing thing is too? I think you could actually layer them. Like I think that any of them would be really good layered together. So yeah, so that's my little, my little mini body spray haul, you guys. Yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed hearing my thoughts on them. Let me know if you've smelled any of these yourself. What do you think about them? If you have smelled the limited edition from Sol de Janeiro, which one was your favorite? Do you have something you would recommend? And also from Victoria's Secret, please tell me, you guys, what is your favorite Victoria's Secret perfume if you have one? Um, I kind of like them because I think that they're like not too serious and just kind of fun and playful and pretty affordable. And, you know, I'm always looking for just easy grab and go perfumes. And um, yeah, so this was kind of like my first impressions, you guys, and let me know what you think. So that's it for today's video, you guys. Thank you again so much for watching. I really appreciate all of you who come back continually and support my channel, and it really means the world to me. And I just want to say thank you so much to all of the wonderful supportive people who have continued to be with me on this journey. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.